Hello everybody, it's time to make a whoopee sling with a built-in soft shackle, just like this one. Here is the spliced small loop at the end of the whoopee sling, and it's got a pigtail, and you can just go into the loop and create soft shackle. This is a short berry at the end with, with only 3.5 inches of added length, so this will also help with minimum distance, and you got a built-in water break. So let's make one. You need 12 feet and 20 inches of 764 diameter AM steel for this project. And we're going to add 20 inches to whatever, whatever we're making. So 20 inches is what you need to make this piece. So we got 12 feet and 20 inches. So let's grab 20 inches of line right here and then fold that. Just fold it at 20 inches. So we got a 20 inch piece and a long 12 foot piece so we're just going to do a lock brummel and a splice loop and we're going to start at 1.5 inches down and we're going to go through the long piece and capture the short piece to, to begin the splicing so there we go we got our short piece coming through the long piece there it is now we're going to pull the long piece through the short piece so enter the short braid with the splicing tool and capture the 12 foot piece there it is so capture the long piece pull it through the short piece and we will soon have the beginnings of the splice loop Okay, so now we are going to go two inches down the long piece. So here's the long piece. There's two inches right there. And then we're just going to enter, enter the long piece at two inches and bury the short piece two inches and come out at two. So it's going to go in right here at two. Go up to our original splice pop out with the splicer and bring the short piece inside of the long piece like that I'm gonna pull this all down so that that uh, the outer sheath is pulled tight over the the smaller piece so here's where we're at now we got our, our brummel got our loop Got our short berry. Okay, so now we're gonna take and do some more splicing. We're gonna take the long piece and pull it through the short piece. So the short piece is the one that's exiting now, the one that we just pulled out. So that's where we'll start splicing again. We'll just go into the short piece and capture the long piece and pull it through. So there's the long piece, pull it through the short piece. Pull everything tight so it's make sure we got it. The exits pretty close to each other, so that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna just continue doing these, these splices. Now we're gonna go into the long piece and pull the short piece through. We're going to do this um, three times, so I've already done it twice. Pull the short piece through the long piece. There we go. And now, for the last one, we're going to enter the short piece and pull the long piece through. So we kind of did a lock brummel right there with one extra one extra little splice. So I got the long piece for this last part and I'm pull the, pulling it through the short piece. Okay. So now you can see we got this series of splices right there. We can massage these down with our splicer tools to get everything 
seated in. Okay, and now I'm going to take the short piece that we have and fold it back at four inches. So there's four inches. Fold it back and just bury that four inches in there. And since I showed you what this looks like already, you probably know what I'm going to do next. Yep, I'm going to tail splice four inches like this. Enter the braid. Exit at four. Grab the remaining piece and pull it inside. Uh-oh. Need the pliers, maybe. There we go. Okay. So now we got our double thick piece hanging out right here. We can pull it to massage the outer braid tight. Double overhand knot is the next step. We want to try to get the double overhand knot so it's all double thickness, and th but single thickness right where it ends. And it might take a couple attempts, but once you get it, you'll get a nice, thick knot like this. So now you have the end of the whoopee sling. You have the built-in soft shackle piece. You got your pigtail, goes up in the loop. And now to finish the whoopee sling, we just do this. We go one inch from where we stop splicing, right here. And then from there, we measure nine inches. So let me go... So, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I'm going to go at nine inches after I go one inch away from that. And you don't need to use a marker. All I do is use one of my blunt tools and just put a little mark right there. Because that way the mark will go away and it'll look cooler. Okay, so now I'm going to capture the end of the long piece. And pull it in here just like a whoopee sling. So one inch above my splice. And enter the remaining long piece and go all the way up to that little mark that, that I made. You can kind of tell the mark is still there. The mark will go away after you use it. So by going nine inches, I effectively got an eight inch berry on this whoopee sling. So now we just take the long piece, pull it into that deep berry that we just started. So if you made a whoopee sling before, you probably recognize this. So now just pull it through, create that long adjustable loop. Okay, now I'm through the deep berry. And to finish this, I'll just go at 1.5 inches. You can do 1, 2, but 1.5 works a little smoother. Especially if you're just starting to do this. And then we're just doing a tail splice, kind of like with the overhand knot that we made before. Go up there to that 1.5 and capture that piece and pull it inside of itself. To finish off the whoopee sling. See there? So there's our little tail splice and now it's finished we have the long adjustable loop right here and then we have a built-in soft shackle at the end there it is and if you want to put this in the end of your hammock and you need this section to be longer you can start your berry farther up to create a longer piece if you're wanting to thread this into your hammock. Well, you can also thread it into the hammock with the soft shackle and um, it'll be very snug. It'll just barely pop out of the end of a gathered in hammock. Once you throw a lark's head into this section, it'll kind of look like this. And this is also tunable. So you see how this is set up right now? It looks like a really cool soft shackle, but let me show you another one. So you can play around with the lengths on this if you want. Here is a gray one. And let me compare this to the one I just showed you how to make. 
So if you're wanting this to be like more secure for a more long-term shackle on something else. So see this gray one, I put the knot right by the end of the loop. You can accomplish this by just doing a deeper tail splice and tying the knot down here instead of up here. And so when this one is deployed as a soft shackle, notice, um, notice this. The loop is now going to be captured by whatever we shackle onto. Let me shackle onto another splice loop just to show you what I mean. Okay, so we're shackled onto another spliced loop. And as you can see, this spliced loop that we've shackled onto is holding those two loops closed. So if you don't favor this setup right here, like if you feel like this, this knot is going to not have a snug enough noose or something. I know a few people um, criticize this, but this is actually very, very secure. You'll be surprised. But you can tune this however you want it. You can make this part longer. You can make the loop part longer. And this also works like a little gear hanger. So say you're just hanging on this loop of your hammock, like you got a metal hardware right here connected to your other component this little piece hanging down right here you can throw this through the laces of like your wet hiking boots or a flashlight and then you can bring it up and put it into this loop or you can bring it around and let it loop onto itself it'll it'll actually kind of create its own soft shackle you can let the weight of if you're hanging a piece of gear on here this can be a gear hanger the weight of your gear will hold that knot in place so it'll kind of hold it like like that so it makes a little gear hanger on the end so if you have like a little backpack or other little thing I used it for a bag the other day and it was really cool I just popped this in here and I was it was holding my extra zip bag up but yeah it's just tunable so if you don't like this design you can just put your knot somewhere else or you can make this piece right here a lot longer and you could tie an extra knot. Like you could tie another knot right here and then when you employed the soft shackle, it would, it would look like this. And then this other knot would hang out right here and still give you a little gear hanger or, um, or something else. You could even put a spliced loop right here where I have this knot. And then back here, you could have um, a double overhand knot. You could bury a small piece of am steel in this section Put a double overhand knot right here so you would have a shackle that hangs out right here and then a little loop right here that you could grab or hook something to so that is the whoopee sling with built-in soft shackle no hardware needed connects up to anything you want anything that has a spliced loop or a sewn a sewn loop and see you guys in the next one thanks